I started racing as a, as a kid, actually, uh, in high school or before high school, even uh, before I could drive legally, to say. Uh, I had a motorcycle and you know, me and the neighborhood guys built go-karts and things like that, so we were always into stuff like that. Having the need to go faster and quicker uh, drove me to start developing some of my own uh, parts. And within a couple of years, other people, other racers of, that we, we would uh, come encounter with over the course of racing for a season would want to buy some of our stuff. So that's basically how I got involved in the business. Uh, as things progressed, you know, we found the need to get into CNC machining. We bought our, our, our first Haas machine from from Phillips and, and they were great to work with and very supportive still are today. The machine's never been down uh, a day in its life since I've had it. And that's pretty good for a bunch of rednecks running it. So, because uh, <laughs> we, we torture stuff every now and then. Here recently, the manpower shortage, the supply chain problems we've all had, the rising cost of material, you know, and the availability. I started thinking about other ways to provide the customers with the, with the parts that they needed. I started looking at the printing technology, and I looked at it many, many years ago, and uh, I felt the technology wasn't there uh, yet. Uh, price wasn't there yet. So a year or so ago, I kind of revisited that. We being with uh, taking into account the manpower shortage specifically and, and the uh, supply chain issues we were coming in, in, into. Because in racing business, it's all about now. And if you can't get the material you need to make the parts when you need them, it doesn't matter what kind of parts you make. I contacted Phillips again. Uh, they had partnered with Mark Forge, uh, the, which was 3D printing technology, and, and uh, arranged a, a meeting over there. So we went over. They gave us a, a great demonstration. We spent half a day over there and talked about the capabilities and, and kind of what I was looking to achieve, what they could provide. And when it was all said and done, uh, we basically bought the machine that day. After talking with Wyatt, we had them at our office for a in-person demo. Some of the problems they were facing are they might have to multi-axis machine parts and stuff like that, working on airflow for different intake valves and stuff. So what we're able to do is kind of show them with additive, as opposed to having multi-part assemblies, they can take a part that they've designed, place it into the software, they can immediately see the print time and cost. You basically work within the software and set up, they're able to send it to the printer and print it pretty much hands off. It's lights out printing, it's kind of like a whole other employer, it runs night and day. They can do a lot of things remotely just from the software. Uh, it's kind of a great thing about the Mark Forge side is that the, the device's material and the software is all connected. So day to day we made a lot of our smaller parts on the X7 free up the big Haas mill and lathe. Um, any, any issues I've ever had, I've been able to immediately reach out and tilt and get extremely fast and prompt support. We, we've even had Jesse, the main additive engineer of Eric here, Colfax Phillips Corp, come out on his own volition and help us. And I think just stuff like that really speaks volumes of their, both the, their belief in their product and their willingness to help their customers. In drag racing, one of the biggest concerns for everybody when they're making parts is the weight. Because obviously you want to have the greatest power to weight ratio that you possibly can in your bike. And especially in a class like the parochial class where we a lot of specialize, it's a weighted class, so you have to meet a certain weight limit. And in that same vein, by being able to print parts instead of machining them out of aluminum, we can shape as much as pounds off of something. Hawaii has been really awesome from the start. Anytime I visit, Johnny has tons of tons of ideas, and I get to see and interact with some of those ideas and, and see how the additive technology is really making an impact to their business. Um, whether it's prototyping or just being able to flesh out new ideas that would take a long time for them to machine or or um, you know, even kind of program the full pass and stuff like that. It's something that he's really able to flesh out these ideas, and I get to see uh, I get to see Matt really put those into the CAD software and interact with the Iger software with, with Mark Forge, and it's 
the speed at which they adapted to the technology is is amazing. Um, and I, I love seeing what they're doing with technology, and they're very they're they're pushing it every day. You know, they're they're doing applications that not everyone would just necessarily think of, and things that may not have been possible to think of before um, having an additive technology in their house. We're uh, on an average, uh, we're saving about 63% of the cost of what it uh, typically takes to produce the same part out of aluminum. Uh, I'm sure that as we get better at it and figure out uh, more products to make with this, this is probably going to be more than that in the end. I mean, once we get into making the really bigger pieces, especially in, in, the, in the field of uh, prototyping, it's, it's just a game changer. I mean, what would take us weeks to sit down and design a machine, you can do that in a matter of hours, and there's absolutely no waste involved in it. The intake manifold, we used to have to buy a raw casting, and then I'd have to go in and weld up and port and machine and all that. It was a pretty, uh, labor involved, labor intensive little piece to make. Uh, cost me 250 bucks almost to get this thing here in a raw casting. I spent four hours on it. We go to the Mark Forge, design the program, put it to match it, port match our heads exactly, print it overnight. I come in the next morning, bolt it on the motorcycle, done deal. It weighs two pounds less. There's no waste and there's no labor. You can't beat that. I expect to see that to that technology and, and the use, especially for us, to steadily increase. Uh, we've uh, invested further in a scanner and technology, 3D scanning and technology there. We'll be able to scan a lot of pieces and go directly to the printer with them. No, we don't have to sit down and draw anything. It's uh, it's just a win-win for, for everybody. Myself, the racer, uh, it's cheaper, it's lighter. The parts that we can do here now, and, and we're constantly pushing that envelope and developing new new products with this technology that we have because it's so new. So a lot of the doors in the past that have been closed to us are now open. I mean, it's just, it, it's, uh, it's really, really been a game changer for us.